Uh, hello. Today we're going to learn a little bit about a online website creator known as Weebly. Uh, it's a very easy to use way for creating a website. Uh, this is Weebly is perfect for the teacher. Um, it's a site that you can create your websites in a matter of oh, less than an hour easily you have a very involved website and it doesn't require that you understand or know HTML or all these web editing programs it's very straightforward and easy to use so let's talk about how we do this first let me show you what a Weebly looks like so this is a, a, a past student this is her Weebly and this is what you're gonna have to do for this course you're gonna have to create a website with four pages. You'll notice here there's a home page, a content page, a personal learning network or PLN, and a contact page. Now these are the requirements for this this assignment for your Weebly. You have these four pages and we'll get more into this in class as far as exactly what each one of those consists of. This video tutorial is more on exactly how to use Weebly but this is a website that was created on Weebly and you can see how you just quickly and easily can create an efficient website that works for you here's her contact form so let's get started ourselves so to create a Weebly you need to go to open a new tab in the URL bar up here just type www.weebly.com once you've done this it will bring up the Weebly website builder now you've never had an account you need to go over here to sign up and sign up for your own account you will not have to pay any money go through the sign up process at which point you will come to another page that looks something like this. Um, this is the beginning of building your website. And the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and click not now. This is if you want to sell online, if you're setting up a personal little market of some sort, selling your own stuff. But we're not going to worry about that. We're going to move forward. Click on not now. Now in here you have a variety of choices. These are templates that you can use. Um, you can go down through here, you can click on them, explore them, look at them. There's different versions, personal, whether it's event, blog, other. You choose which one you want to use. Um, there are no restrictions or, or requirements as exactly which one you want to use. So let's go to a personal one. Okay. And uh, just for the sake of let's go ahead and take this one here so I just selected this specific theme uh, it's bringing it up now it's still not mine to edit yet I can look at it now I can explore around I see it has four pages so that works perfectly for me and I can go through here all this stuff that's on here I can delete or I can edit it to make it my own so I think this is a, a, a good one that I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with. So let's uh, let's go ahead and start our exploring Weebly here. Go up here to where it says start editing. This starts a process whereby we can actually create our website. Now the first thing I want to do once this comes up is I want to just kind of go over an overview of the, how it's set up what it all is included here I'm not going to cover everything because we're not going to go over everything um, for this class I'll cover everything that you need in order to create your website and meet all the requirements the so first thing you need to do is come down here use this use subdomain of Weebly this is free if you use one of these this here you're going to have to they're going to want you to pay you do not have to pay anything come down here create a name <clears throat> for your website and 
there you go. You saw how it had domain is available now. As before, it shows domain is not available. So just create a name that it does accept. Once you're done with that, you can come up here and hit continue. And now my page is ready for me to edit. So first thing I want you to do is this is your page here. And you can scroll down and look at your entire page. You can edit this whole page. And let's go into exactly what the different areas are here. Over here, this is your build window. This is where all of your tools are that you might want to use in the development of your website. To add pictures, to add video, to put in forms, to put in uh, photo galleries, text. We'll talk about this more in a little bit. You only get this when you're on the build option here. The next option over is pages. When I click on pages, it changes the screen over here. I now have all my pages listed right here. If you'll notice, they match. So you'll notice that these match with your pages over here. That's what each one of these are. So right now, I'm on home page. I can let's keep the home page as it is. Um, my work page. What's my next page? It's a content page. I can click on this now, and I can edit it. I want to change the name to content, and that's all I'm going to change. We don't need to worry about any of this. This is uh, getting in a little deeper than what we need to do. Just worry about your name, and you can copy and delete pages. So, what I would suggest, and what, what a lot of people like to do, I'm going to hit this little carrot right up here to take me back to where I see all my pages. I would suggest, in order to follow the, the design principles, sorry, I would suggest that you build on the home page. You develop the home page just exactly like you want it, as far as the design, uh, how big this cloud should be, uh, where your picture should be, uh, the color scheme. You design your home page, and then what you do is go through and delete. I'm going to delete each of these pages. I'm going to click on About. I'm going to delete it. So delete. And I'm going to click on Contact. I want to delete it. I'm going to leave the contact page just because I like the way it's set up already. So, now, these just goes into your themes that you saw before. These are the settings I'm not going to talk about because we're not going to go into them. Now, obviously, you can use the help as you wish. This is where you divide device. How, what device do you want people to look at this on? If you want it to be more mobile friendly, you need to click that. If you want it to be more desktop friendly, then we'll go with this. And this is usually what you're going to be on. Upgrade. If you want to pay for an upgrade, you can. It's not that expensive. Uh, it's really pretty cheap. And it gives you a, a lot of lead way you get. Whereas, I think without the upgrade, you only get like 15 minutes of video that you can create. With an upgrade, it's unlimited. Uh, along with other frills that come with it. And last is publish. This will publish your website to the web, to the World Wide Web. This puts it out there for everybody to see. Right now, until we hit publish, nobody can see this except us. So, I'm going to go to build. So, I'm on build. i got my tools over here. So, first thing I want to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to change some things because I don't like how big this is. You notice when I go over these different boxes, these different areas, they come up with this box and it has an X in the right corner. Everything does that. See, there's, this is just a spacer. You see right here where it says spacer. I don't want that big old spacer there. So I'm just going to delete it. Hit the little red, hit the X, and hit delete. Now it's gone. I got rid of that big spacer. Now, you can do that with everything or change things. Um, I don't want this link here. This is a link that was put in on here. I can take it off if I want. I can take this out if I want. Or I can go on here, just click in here, highlight it, and type my own 
information in there. And as I'm typing, you'll notice I have these different options. Increase font size, decrease. So I can select all this and I can increase my font size. I can go bigger. I can change my colors. Uh, bold, just like in Word. You know, I can have it centered, adjust left, adjust right. These are all things that you can do when you're in the text mode. So, let's talk about this background. It's, it's really big. I really don't like it this way. I want it smaller. So I click on the background. And you need to move around a little bit. You scroll down here and you'll see I've clicked on this and you notice this bubble. It's actually highlighted that. I can grab this bubble, click, and drag it up. Did I take it up far enough? No. Let's drag it up much further. And I'm going to come back up. And now we're getting a little better. I kind of want my cloud just to be up there. I don't want it to be all over my page. Okay. Now, this is the editing part. Let's go through um, just to do a couple more things. We want to delete this. I don't want this little graphic on here. So again, click on the delete. Hit delete, and it's out of there. Case study, I don't want that in there. Let's delete it. So you can delete everything that you don't want in here. Uh, this, let's delete that. Uh, I don't want that in there. Okay, so I've gone through. Let's say I've deleted everything that I want to delete. So now let's talk about putting stuff in. So I want to put in a gallery of pictures to go across here. So all I'm going to do, anything I want to use over here, all I have to do is grab it drag it, and drop it where I want it. So I just grab the gallery right here, drag it over, and here it is. It's in here. Now all I got to do is click on it to upload images. So let's click on it. I'm going to mid-size this uh, upload file. So no, let's just, I can either drag from like my desktop or a file. I can grab and drop in here, or I can go to upload file from your computer, which is what I'm going to do here. And let's get some pictures. Uh, where's my pictures? Okay, my pictures. Um, we will go to. I can grab. Let's see how many. Let's just grab some animal shots. Um, hold the control key. And just let's just grab a bunch of them here. Okay, open. And now that will bring them all over for me. So as you can see, it's bringing them in. I've gotten two of five. And because I picked the gallery over here, they're all going to be right here in the middle. And we're waiting for it to come up. So now I have all five of them. There they all are. So I have a gallery of photos. Uh, you can do all kinds of things, but you need to be able to bring in images. So you can drag and bring an image in the same way as I did that gallery, or you can take this image. I like the way this is set up. I like the image on the left. I like to have the on the right where I can add stuff. So I keep this one. I just click on it, and I replace the image and I will upload a photo and I can just do the same thing just grab a picture and bring it in I'm all done you have some options here line left right center and so forth but then there's my picture so now we're set I have my picture in here now another thing that you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to be able to bring in videos so let's go over how you're gonna bring in a video First thing you need is you need to have access to your video, and the best way is to have it on YouTube. So, we're going to go over to Weebly. I mean, I'm sorry, we're going to go to YouTube, and we're going to pick out a video that we want. Now, I've already picked it out. This is the video I'm going to do. This is another Weebly tutorial that I did in the past. And on this video, down here where it says Share, I'm going to take that, and I'm going to copy this, Control c or Command-C on, on a Mac, I'm copying this URL. 
once I've done that, I come back to my Weebly. Now I go down through my toolbars until I find the YouTube. All right, and again, like all these tools over here, I'm just going to grab it, drag it, and drop it where I want it. This is where I want my YouTube video. Perfect, right there. So it just puts in this placeholder. This is not actually my video. I need to click on it. Now I can edit, put in that video, that URL, paste it. I want it in the center. And once I'm, that's good, that's what I want, I click away, and there's my my video. Now it's embedded onto my Weebly at this point. Let's uh, okay so we've talked about how to put in pictures, how we can edit the site that we pick. Um, let's go up here real quick to this name. Let's change this. Um, my site is going to be, uh, I'm just going to call it you S history. Eh, there we go. Now, let's talk about our contact page. How do we do a contact page? Let's come down here. I'm going to start from scratch. I want to take this contact page out, delete, and put in my own. So I put in whatever I want here. Um, whatever text I want to put here is an introduction to the, to this contact page. Please. Yeah. Contact me with questions. Okay, and I put in whatever I want in here. Now let's do a contact page. If you go down here, you'll see we're at, coming over to the tools again. And um, contact form right here is what we want. Again, it's simple. Drag, drop. Let's put it right beside it also, just like it was. And there it is. Click here to edit. So I can change this so it says uh, complete this form and I will get back to you ASAP. Yeah. Okay, so they complete this. Once they've completed it, you will get an email stating that they've completed it. So I hit save. So now I have my form in here. I can put whatever I want over here as far as literature. I can put a picture in here. Let's do that real quick just so we see. I grab an image, bring it over. I want the image to be right here beside it. And I click on the image. Now I go to upload from my computer. It takes it right back where I was in the past. I bring all the way down here. And let's just do an image of water. What a pretty little image that is. And we'll bring it in. And it's just a nice peaceful little There we go. I have my water. And obviously if I want, I can edit this. I can move it around. I can grab this handlebar, which is with all this stuff. Move, copy, home. So, so at this time, you should have all the information you need as far as putting in images, putting in video, putting in text. Um, we need to just do one more thing here before we complete this. We're going to go up here. We're going to go to Pages. Because as you remember, this brings up my, my Pages. I only have a home and a contact page. Correct? So let me go back. because It's got me in the contact. There's my home and my contact page. I like my home page. I like it just as it is. And I want to duplicate it. Because I want my other two pages to be like that. So I'm just going to hit Copy. And you notice it comes up. And I'm going to call this one the copy. I'm going to name it. This will be my content page. Okay. And I go back. And I'm going to click on home again. I'm going to copy it again because I want to have it for a PLM page as well. And the same thing. Just going to check, put in here and PLN and call it good. Now the only thing I want to do is I want to sort the order because you have home, contact, content, and PLN. I want my contact page to be my last page. So I go back. I move. I just grab it and drag it down and drop it. And that's the order I want it right there. Home, content, PLN, and contact. 
So this completes the tutorial on the Weebly. You know how to do images, you know how to do pictures, you know how to edit. If this page was all done, I can come over here, I would hit publish, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. I would hit publish, and I'm going to do it as this. Hit continue. Morgan sample one, two, three. Hit continue, and at this point, it gives me the URL also. So I want to just copy that. And I want to go over here and let's have a look at it. It is now on the web for everybody to see. I'm going to paste it and let's see what my page looks like. And there is my page. Obviously, I've done very little editing. I've done the things that I want you to be able to do. I want you to be able to put pictures on there. I want you to be able to put video on there. I want you to be able to edit the text or add your own text on there. And you know, it's a content page and PLM page at the moment look exactly the same. I would go in and edit those. And then there's my contact page. So this completes our, our Weebly. And uh, I hope you go out and you have fun with it. There is much more to learn with it. This is just a brief tutorial on it. And, but you do have all the information you need in order to create your own at this point. Have a good day.